Hey guys, good afternoon. I hope you're all doing well. I am almost ready to go to work this afternoon and I have a little bit of extra time here. And so I thought I would sit down and answer some of y'all's questions and talk a little bit about the Amish youth or Amish dating. Um, a common last question is, you know, is room spring and what you're reading in the uh, books and things, is that true or is that accurate? And so, um, and I'm also learning that the different culture it is in the non Amish world. And um, yeah, so I thought I would come on here and chat a little bit. I hope your day is going well. Thank you for all your love and support on the last video that Dean and I did together. Um, so glad for all of your questions and hope to get to know you and interact more. Um, so yeah, the question or do, um, is it accurate or is the room springer actually something in the Amish culture? So um, I know quite a, so some of, some of you have, have um, ask this question and I know so it really varies from from Amish community to Amish community where I come from we did not have that in the group I was part of now I I grew up in Holmes County Ohio so there were there are at least I'd say at least 12 different kinds of Amish and so we were well aware or we know I know churches that do that um, I have actually never read many of those books about Rumspringa. There were the ones that I started or the ones that I looked at were so far from reality that I didn't, I couldn't continue reading them. I mean, they they were just so far fetched from, especially from what I grew up with. But there are some churches that do practice Rumspringa, but exactly what that looks like. Um, varies from church to church too so from what so i'll just kind of try and explain some of the the way i grew up with um how dating and courtship is for that um typically we started going with the youth group um at 16 and so that would mean we could start going to the youth singings um we had a group of about maybe an average of 100 youth that came to the youth singings and things um and so if our family say if my parents we had church at our place and we wanted to have the singing that evening or maybe the sunday following the church um we would just let there was a few um family a family that was put in for this where they um everyone that wanted to have a singing contacted them and so maybe a month or two, three months ahead, we would give them a call and say, hey, we would like to have a singing this day, is it open? And then they would let us know whether it was, um, whether there was someone else scheduled already or if it was open. And if it was open, we would write our name in um, and then we would have a singing that evening. So, and then they printed out copies of of the singing schedule and then every Sunday evening at a singing we could all get a copy of the following about two months of where the singing was at and so there was very every now and then there was a sing, Sunday evening that we didn't have a singing but for the most part um, there was usually almost every Sunday evening there was a singing somewhere and so we could start with the singings and then there was um, volleyballs in the summertime there that was kind of the same thing we had if we wanted to uh, host a volleyball game we would contact them and that same family and ask usually on a friday night hey we would like to have a volleyball game can we is that open and um then we would have a volleyball game for the youth um if we had if we wanted to go help someone clean or help them do firewood or um, anything else that we wanted to kind of do we would just invite a dozen or a few dozen youth friends um, are more maybe from our church group and do things but um, come back to the dating and courtship there were some that dated at 16 I would say the majority of people started dating more at like 18 19 
on a 20, 25, you know, whatever. But um, typically a guy would ask a girl through a letter, just write a letter and send her a letter or ask his sister to give her the letter or ask her. And then he would go to her place on a Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening and um, you should just talk and whatever um, for maybe an hour or two, three hours, whatever. Um, we weren't encouraged to be there too late, like usually it was on a Sunday afternoon or in the evening. I think they've moved to afternoon more and more, but I know at one point it was, um, most of them did it in the, like after dinner or supper. Um, we did not have bed courtship, we did not, um, we had, our youth had leaders that were that kind of, we didn't have rules, like set rules, you can't do this, you can't do that. But the leaders very much encouraged hands-off courtship, like no hugging, um, kissing, anything like that. It was completely hands-off. Um, and if if someone broke, say, broke that or didn't do that, I don't. There weren't like that wasn't a rule that was you know you were punished or anything. That was just everyone was encouraged, and I think most of them practiced that um, kind of a tradition that was handed down. And also the um, had scripture and kind of a written paper why um, they felt that having hints up was important. Otherwise, like then after about two or three dates, they decided the couple would decide if they or the boy and the girl would decide if they wanted to continue um, as a a relationship as in boy and girlfriend, or if they didn't want to. Um, if it continued, they would then be known as boy and girlfriend or steady. I don't know where that comes from. But that's what a term we used. Um, and then um, they would go with each other to church or um, go to the youth group things together or family things. Um, eating out, like I know in the Nanamish culture there's a lot of, hey let's meet up to maybe eat out or whatever. That wasn't as, I mean I'm sure some of them eat out, but it wasn't as much of a thing. But, um, most of the time the guy picked up the girl and there are not as many restaurants right in the Amish community and um, it's it's just different from a to you know both having a car and meeting up somewhere the guy always picked up the girl and um, there are so many youth activities and things that there was n never a lack of things to do together or if nothing you know if it and uh, traditionally it was also done on the weekends um, they're together during the week sometimes too. I was encouraged to not be together all the time, like not every other day or three, four times a week. I mean, there were times when it happened, you know, two, three times a week. Um, occasionally, maybe just on weekends, usually every weekend, and then just whatever the plans were in between. Um, spending time together mostly with like family, friends, youth things, um, work, um, work get together type of things or um and occasionally he would maybe go to her house on a sunday and just spend the time with her family and um and then the evening maybe they'd have an hour or two in her um, bedroom to just talk and whatever but um that was kind of the general courtship dating and then um you know when they if they wanted to if they usually they dated for at least a year to two years, sometimes longer, sometimes less. I know some that just did it a few months, but typically I would say between a year and two years. Um, and then if they wanted, felt they wanted to get married, they um, he would ask her. It was just a personal question when they were had their time together. Sometime it wasn't like a public. Um, there's no ring or engagement type of thing. I mean, it's just. And then once, and then they would get married within the next, sometimes they have it a year out. Um, occasionally they would make it a whole year out because some of the kitchens, like the cook kitchens and the freezer um, trucks types of things, cooler trucks um, were booked out for a long time. And so trying to get married within, say, a month or two months would have been really hard because of the, the cooler truck and the cook kitchen and the plates, all those things that they needed to rent. 
and so most of the time it's at least a number of months half year or two year out occasionally it's over a year but most of the time I would say an average like more of like half year to a year um, yeah there's otherwise as far as the room spray we as I said before we didn't have that um, I do know churches like some of our neighbors did that because they were part of a different church part of a different youth group and they would do have like say open door dating where um, I think some guys went like a pa number of guys went with each other from kind of door to door type of thing or maybe one Sunday evening to a group of girls and I'm not sure exactly how that works um, there are some groups that have bed courtship um, we say even our you know within a mile or the group our neighbors would some of them do that but they were completely part of a different group than we were so um, there are definitely Amish that do that and there are some that don't so um, I'm thankful to have been part of one that didn't have that um, that is the room spring isn't something I guess it depends how you look at it and what it all includes is how you know how good it is so that's something that I'm still learning um, you know there's a lot of it's definitely a no you know there's no texting because they don't have all have cell phones there's no um, social media FaceTime um, nothing like that I mean occasionally there will be phone calls but um, you know give her a message can you be at the phone at a certain time and then she gives a message back yes or no and then you be at the phone at the same time to tell um, yeah, I think if you have any more questions concerning that, feel free to ask questions. Um, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you're all having a great Tuesday day. And I will see you next time. I will be going off to work in a few minutes here. And yeah, enjoy your day.